Well, an intersection in Gibson County that some call dangerous could get a makeover next year. Well, tonight the Indiana Department of Transportation held its first public meeting about the Highway 41 and County Road 100 West intersection. The residents were able to see the improvement plans and give their input. Eyewitness News Ann Powell was there. Plans are underway to change what officials say is one of the most dangerous stoplights in Gibson County. There's been crashes there. We noticed the trend. Between 2020 and now, officials say that 22 accidents have happened at the Highway 41 and County Road 100 West intersection. 5% of them were deadly and 23% caused serious injury. According to statistics from MnDOT, a majority of these were T-bone crashes. We looked at all the options we had and decided to reduce conflict to intersection was the best bet. MnDOT says this type of intersection can reduce the number of conflict points by almost half compared to a normal intersection. We change it to where if you're trying to turn left, you turn right first. And then you go up the road a little bit and then you make a median U-turn. And then that way you turn right, you can see traffic from this angle. You don't have the pressure of trying to figure out when this traffic is going to clear up. When making the right turn, drivers would make a U-turn in the median and focus on oncoming traffic. NDOT says after implementing this plan in a Knox County community, crashes were significantly reduced. But not everyone is on board. Thomas Surditch lives near the intersection and is worried about truck drivers making the U-turn. They're doing 60 miles an hour and the semi has to make a third running 7 to 12 miles an hour making a U-turn. How do you judge making a U-turn with people doing over 70 uh, when it's posted 60? Serditch says he's also worried about the construction and where traffic will be detoured. He says semis are not allowed on County Road 150 because they were breaking the shoulders all out, the asphalt and everything, so that's been our biggest problem. When designing this proposed intersection, Brian says NDOT engineers kept semi-trucks in mind. They have given it enough turn lanes so those semi-drivers, when they have that clear amount of time, they have a closer area to get over to. The southbound left turn lanes and the east and westbound turn lanes will be about 800 feet long. NDOT hopes to start construction in spring of 2024. The entire project is expected to cost a little over $3 million in Gibson County and Powell, Eyewitness News.